All right, guys, there are things in your home that are crushing your testosterone levels. Common household items and sources of food around you are raising estrogen levels in your body right now. The female hormone called estrogen naturally occurs in men and is technically needed, but we don't need help boosting it. Nowadays, we need to keep these levels low. Here's why estrogen levels need to be controlled. Estrogen is the female hormone linked to infertility, depression, fat storage, and low testosterone. So when you have high estrogen levels, you're likely to have lower testosterone levels. This explains why men all around the world are suffering from ever decreasing testosterone levels and the host of health and mental health issues that low T causes. According to a 2007 study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, there is a significant decline in men's testosterone levels year by year. And this isn't just as you get older. New generations are experiencing low T, as well caused by modern society and even helpful innovations that we completely depend on now. The truth is that you're being exposed to testosterone killing chemicals on a daily basis. In today's world, we won't reduce our exposure to these chemicals to zero. That's just impossible. There are ways to significantly reduce your exposure. Today, we're not just gonna cover food sources. We're going to pinpoint specific chemicals and how to avoid them. Many of these testosterone killing chemicals are really just estrogen-like chemicals. These chemicals mimic estrogen by binding to their receptors and have similar effects as estrogen would. The first testosterone killing chemical is atrazine, found in inorganic meat and corn. You're unknowingly consuming artificial estrogens every day. A good example of this is when we look at cows who eat corn in feedlots. As a result of pesticides and hormone injections into livestock, the health of cows is severely impacted. Research has looked at how herbicides used in corn to control weeds and can be considered a carcinogen. When scientists looked at the blood of cattle, they found atrazine was at 0.739 ppm for the feedlot cattle. For the unaffected cattle, atrazine levels were only at 0.002 ppm. To put this into perspective, the cattle's eating herbicide treated corn had 37,000% as much endocrine disrupting atrazine. Take a look at atrazine's effects. Fan and colleagues found that atrazine increases aromatase. This is the key enzyme in aromatization and the process in which testosterone converts to estrogen in your body. Atrazine can get into our water supply. In an interview, Dr. J. Anthony described research in which they compared rats fed water or low, do low dose atrazine. Although the rats consume the same calories, the rats fed low dose atrazine water still got fatter. This highlights how consuming estrogen like compounds can affect your body composition too. If you do live in the USA, you likely are exposed to significantly higher estrogen levels. Research published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology found that estrogen levels were significantly higher in USA chicken and beef. Depending on the type of meat, Japanese and Brazilian meat generally had lower levels. You can avoid the reduction of tea and increase estrogen by choosing organic meat. This way you'll avoid synthetic pesticides and the animals being treated with antibiotics and growth hormone. Number two, soy phytoestrogens found in soybeans and soy products. Soy has been demonized for being estrogenic and lowering testosterone for good reason. It comes from the soybean in East Asia and is included in foods like tofu, meat altern alternatives, and plant protein powders. Soy contains two phytoestrogens or plant estrogens that are isoflavones called didzin and genistein. They bind to your estrogen receptors to have estrogen-like effects in your body. In a 2007 study, men's testosterone levels were decreased by 19% by consuming soy protein powder. When they stopped using soy, their testosterone levels went back up in two weeks. Another study from the University Hospital in Wales compared men eating three scones a day containing soy or containing wheat. For the soy group, their testosterone levels significantly dropped. The wheat group was unaffected. In other words, if you're a boy, don't have soy. Number three, organophosphates found in inorganic produce. This is a pesticide that kills insects and small mammals by inhibiting the enzyme important to produce acetylcholine. If you've ever tried my powerful nootropic formula, man brain, you'd know that acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter for proper cognitive function, focus, memory, and so on. Organophosphates work by inhibiting acetylcholine from being created, which makes it a nervous system toxin. So when we consume products treated with organophosphate, we can experience nausea, 
dizziness, and weakness. But over the long term, we can suffer from seizures, confusion, anxiety, and nervous system problems. So we're talking about testosterone killing chemicals. More research studied how organophosphates affect the male hormone profile. They found that organophosphates act as an endocrine disruptor in men. Since the dose is the killer, small doses only had a minor effect. With that being said, when you have repeated daily exposure over a lifetime, who knows how badly it could affect your hormone profile and nervous system. In order to avoid synthetic pesticides like organophosphates, I recommend you opt for organic produce. Number four, mycoestrogen. Mycoestrogen refers to estrogens found in mold. I know this may sound weird, but mold is everywhere, including in our food supply. Believe it or not, that mold and its mycotoxins are commonly found in grain supplies. See, fungus thrives in dark, damp areas, so you'll find significant mold in those massive grain storage containers. That same mold secretes estrogen-like chemicals like xeralanone. There are some locations in Europe where they have much stricter mold regulations. Since they aren't allowed to sell those grains, they will literally sell them to the USA because of its lax regulations with moldy grains. Number five, perfluoric chemicals found in non-stick cookware. This is a big one. The non-stick pans you use often have Teflon in them, which contains perfluoric chemicals. Perfluoric chemicals include ones like PFOA and PFC. The issue is that these compounds bind to androgen receptors and block testosterone and DHT from being able to bind together. According to a study from the University of Padova, exposure to these kinds of materials can result in testicular shrinkage, decreased sperm production, and lower testosterone levels. So one of the best things you can do is avoid using Teflon cookware. This is huge. There are several options out there. Ceramic coated cookware is a good medium between Teflon and completely ceramic pans that are much more breakable. If you're up for a bit more maintenance, you can also opt for an, a cast iron skillet. Number six is BPA and phthalates found in plastic. BPA and phthalates are both estrogenic chemicals found in plastics. Let's first talk about BPA. 90% of men who go to fertility clinics have been shown to have BPA in their urine. In other words, BPA is likely linked to fertility issues in men. A 2008 study from Japan showed that BPA mimics the effects of estrogen, which leads to lower libido, fertility, and testosterone in men. The estrogenic effects directly affect our testes, so to limit the secretion of male steroid hormones and less testosterone in our semen. According to a study from the Kaiser Foundation Research Institute, using plastic is highly related to estrogen increase in men. Most of the compounds in plastic have xenoestrogens, environmental estrogens, which are hormones very similar to regular estrogens. These xenoestrogens seep into your skin, attach to estrogen receptors, and feminize you. BPA has restrictions, but isn't completely banned everywhere. You've probably seen BPA-free plastics, but don't be fooled. These companies are using a loophole in which the plastic is BPA-free, but contains another similar substance called BPS. You'll still be exposed to BPS's estrogenic effects. And when you pour hot water and especially hot coffee, significant leaching occurs so that more BPA or BPS gets into your body. Even if the plastic has neither BPA or BPS, it will still contain phthalates. Research in the Journal of Toxicological Sciences suggests that phthalates are endocrine disruptors. And like I implied, heat from sunlight increases the phthalate leaching. That's why I avoid plastics like plastic water bottles, opt for glass or stainless steel instead. Number seven is parabens found in hygiene products. Parabens are estrogenic compounds found in hygiene products like deodorant and body wash. 2014 research suge suggests that deodorants have parabens causing significant estrogenic activity. The highest activity was found in spray deodorants. To avoid parabens, choose hygiene products that are natural and without parabens, obviously. There's a lot more of those around these days, so you can find them on Amazon or at your local drugstore. Number eight, triclosan, found in antibacterials. So this is big because everyone's washing their hands right now. Here's what you have to learn. Triclosan is found in many antibacterials like soap. Since it has been found to be harmful in research, companies have begun to removing it. For example, it used to be in many toothpastes, and now it's not found in major toothpaste, toothpaste brands. Triclosan is similar in structure to BPA, so you can expect 
that it's an endocrine disruptor too. Research suggests triclosan can have estrogenic effects on your body. The FDA declared that we need more research to know how harmful it is. So companies require a peer market review just to, just to use it. Your best bet is to watch out for unnatural antibacterial products like soap and body wash, simple. Number nine, water chemicals. Most men are oblivious to the fact that there are endocrine disrupting molecules floating around in our water supply. This could be caused by pesticides that are carried through rain or even some naturally occurring from the earth. Some common chemicals include chlorine, phthalates, and mercury. Fortunately, the solution is pretty simple. Stop drinking tap water. Instead, use an activated charcoal filter. This binds lipids, hormones, or anything hydrophobic. Basically, steroid hormones like estrogen will automatically bind to the filter and not get into your water. Number 10, the last one, phenols, found in detergents. Detergents contain a ton of chemicals. One of them is non-ilphenol in detergent. As you can guess, this is an endocrine disruptor as well. You can try to find a natural alternative. Even if you do, you'll still be exposed to estrogens every day. So how can you block estrogen from harming your male hormone profile? That's where Man Boost comes in. Man Boost is my industry leading formula to lower estrogen, raise testosterone, and aid in brain function, but also boost immunity with zinc and resveratrol. It contains no fillers or proprietary blends, that so many companies use to hide what's actually in the supplement. Man Boost contains four of the most powerful testosterone boosting and estrogen blocking ingredients, like zinc picolinate, has been found to raise testosterone and even reduce estrogen by 57%. Zinc picolinate is important because it's the purest form of zinc you can supplement with. It's the highest quality, which is why we put it in a Man Boost. Next is resveratrol vesisorb, which is different from resveratrol. More on that in a sec. Resveratrol, which increases the protein STAR to increase conversion of cholesterol to testosterone in your testes has been shown to boost testosterone levels by 51%. Now, resveratrol is very hard to absorb. So we use resveratrol vesisorb, which is a hundred times more absorbable than conventional resveratrol. It's also great for your immune system. So that's why we included it in Man Boost. Next is IC3, which is a rare molecule that causes you to flush estrogen out, for your, out through your liver, which is important with chemical estrogens. Finally, boron has been shown to increase free testosterone by 28%, decrease free estrogen by 39%, and reduce vitality killing inflammation. You can grab Man Boost through the link below in the description. All right, those were the top 10 testosterone killing chemicals. While you can avoid estrogen compounds 100%, if you take the simple advice I gave you and grab Man Boost, you'll have an edge over other men in raising your testosterone levels and lowering your estrogen levels. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please ask them down below. Like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back with more videos soon.